Hi, I'm Stefan Regenschwander. I've built some utility LUTs and in this video I will show you how they work. Here's a quick overview from my website. The first LUTs turn black or white into red. This is great for checking clipped highlights and crushed blacks. The second LUT converts neutral colors with equal RGB values to green. This is very useful for balancing a shot. And the last LUT is a skin indicator LUT. Colors that fall on the skin tone area turn yellow, deviations from it turn green or magenta. Let's start with the first utility LUT. The size of the cube defines the area of the black or white gradient that has been converted to red. A cube with a size 65 gives us a smaller gradient than a cube with a size 17. That's why I provided several cube sizes, so you can choose the size that works best for you. So let's apply the LUT to some real-world footage. Um, we can go to our timeline and we apply the black to red to our timeline level. And if we want to see it in the light box, we have to make a right click and click on update all thumbnails. And then we can easily spot how much the blacks are crushed. We can now see that we have similar black levels in those scenes here, but not in this scene. So we can go to the scene. And if we compare those both scenes here, we can see um, we have here darker blacks than in this scene here. So we can go to our clip level and go to lift, gamma and gain and maybe darken our shadows. So adding the LUT to our timeline level we can make sure that we have um, consistent black levels through our scenes and we can also easily spot blanking errors like uh, this one here on the left uh, where we have to resize our image. So here a quick look to our white to red LUT. This is pretty much the same. So we can go through our images and we can easily spot when we have clipped highlights. And this is what it looks like um, in our light box. And then we can go to our image, go to clip level, to our grade and bring the gain down. And here's another example. So we place our LUT in the timeline. Then we can easily turn the LUT on and off and we can spot the red areas here. So here on the right side and on the left. And then we can go to our clip level and can easily fix it here. So let's move on to our next utility LUT. The next utility LUT will turn neutral colors into the color green. And neutral colors are colors where the RGB values have the same value. Like for example, this patch here, we can see that we have the similar RGB values, um, 232. And if we apply the LUT to this node here, we can see it turns green. Now we can go to our offset. We can try to balance midtones, shadows and highlights, but this is just an example and not important. So let's move on to some real world footage. So here we have our scene, some balance, exposure, saturation and a color space transform. And we can go to our timeline and add a neutral green LUT to our scene. And maybe we want to make sure that a wall here is white or more balanced. Then we can go to our balance node and use the offset um, to balance our shot. So this is before 
and this is after. So the LUT allows us to really quick balance our shot. And the next step is we can apply the gray to our other scenes. And then we can go to our timeline and enable the LUT and go to Lightbox, update our thumbnails. And then we can spot that we have here a nice green and the wall is green, 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 except for this scene here. So let's go to the scene and let's fix the balance. Go to Lightbox, update all thumbnails, and now um, the wall is green too. And now we can see um, all shots are pretty balanced. So let's move on to our next utility LUT. This utility LUT will transform skin tone color to yellow and deviations from it to green and magenta. This allows us to easily align skin tones. Here are some examples. I have to say that it is totally fine if the skin tone doesn't align on the skin tone line. There are many examples in movies where the skin looks more greenish or shifts more towards magenta. Every skin looks different and it depends also on the story and the scene where we want to move our skin tones. The main purpose of the LUT is to make sure we have consistency in terms of skin tones between our shots and to easily spot if in one scene the skin tone looks different. No matter if the tone itself moves more towards green or magenta. There might be also situations where the client says that the skin tone looks more greenish in one scene. And with a lot we can easily check this and we don't have to add a mask to our scene. And we don't need to look at our scopes too. We can see directly in our image what is going on. So that's it. You will find more information on my website. Have a nice day and see you next time.